Okay, I've made significant progress on my third function kit install. Um, after a great deal of cursing, swearing, uh, oaths, etc., I finally got hard piping run from the valve. There's the pressure side and the return side. And on this tractor, you have to go, you have to put this in line with the rest of the system. It's not like you can tee off anywhere. So this is the power beyond port right here, which <laughs> it's not marked. And it took me a while to figure it out. That's a whole nother story. And then from the Power Beyond port, we come under here and follow this up to the pressure side. And then the return side comes down, goes over here and back. Let's see if we can see it here. Ooh, back in there. So that's the Power Beyond port on the diverter valve. That's a whole nother thing. And then what happens is, ouch. Ah, what happens is, it goes into the diverter valve and then comes out the other side of the diverter valve back here. I'm sorry, this is kind of a crappy video here. And then from here, it goes on to the three point hitch. Or they, what they call the HPL, I think, the uh, hydraulic power lift. So that's all kind of internal. This this connection here was a, flan a flanged connection. And then up there, you can see it beyond the filter there, is a banjo bolt. So that whole pipe was not really inaccessible, but it was impractical for me to insert it back there anyplace. So that wasn't going to work. So I had to I had to insert it in between the power beyond of the loader control valve and the diverter valve. So it actually wound up being a little simpler than the way I started out doing it. Um, but it's a you know I got a bunch of fittings in here and luckily there's no leaks. Anyway. Okay, so sorry for the shaky video, but I kind of wanted to show you what what I went through. And now the next thing I'm going to do is start on the electrical side of this. And then once I get that done, then we'll actually attach the grapple and see how it works. This pile of pipes and hoses here represents wasted effort trying to get this uh, third function kit installed properly. And I'm going to say that it's really my own fault because I didn't have a proper schematic of the hydraulic system, and I tried to get a schematic from my dealer, and he wasn't cooperating. I'm not going to say who it was, but, um, you know, you spend a lot of money on these tractors, and you expect a little bit of support. And I'm a big proponent of the right to repair your own equipment. If you want to know more about that, look up right to repair. In any case, um, you know, I own it. I want to be able to fix it myself. I don't want to have to rely on a dealership in any way, shape, or form. So, uh, because they didn't send me a proper schematic, I hooked it up wrong twice. Well, once, actually. And when it didn't work the first time, I figured, well, I need really need to track down a schematic. And luckily, I was able to find one on uh, online, and I purchased, purchased it for $30, and it was the whole service manual, and it's been great. So, anyway, wasted effort, lots of cursing and swearing because of this. But now, I think I'm on my way.
The next step in this process is installing the electrical end of things. So the control valve is here, and it has, you know, a box that goes over the top, and then it has, a, you know, a rubber, uh, short, a rubber boot that goes over this. So what I was hoping to do was run the wires up through the rubber boot and up along the, the joystick here and then mount the switch up here. Well, unfortunately, the way they did this, instead of putting quick connects on here, which, you know, I don't know, it would have been nice, but they soldered everything on here. So, I really, really don't feel like unsoldering these just to solder them back on. So, I'm going to try to put this, install this, um, yeah, I'm going to try to install this the way it is and see how I can work it out. And if it doesn't work out, well, then maybe we'll have to unsolder and resolder. But we'll see. I might be able to fish it th from the other direction here, but that connector is a little big. So we'll see. So that's the next step, and we're moving on, making progress. Okay, so here it is. We are done. The uh, third function kit is installed. The wiring is connected. Uh, I didn't bother doing any video on the wiring because uh, it just consisted of plugging the connectors in and connecting the other end to the battery. So there wasn't really anything to that. The control switch is mounted. I have it turned in such a way that you can uh, you can operate this from the op from the seat easily. I had some trouble finding another one of these quick connect connectors, and uh, I had to do a little funky adaptation here, but it seems to work fine. The grapple is installed and functions. I've already picked up a log with it and put it up on the uh, processor. And that's it. So we are officially done, and now I'm just going to run it for a while, and then we'll come back and double check for for leaks, which I'm hoping there will be no leaks, but you always have to check. That's the end of installing the third function kit on the Case D40 tractor. Hopefully this was a little bit useful to you. Um, I'm sure I missed a whole bunch of stuff, but the bottom line is if you're going to do this on a case tractor, don't expect any help. Um, the connections for the, for the hydraulics, uh, at first, they don't make any sense until you realize that the third function valve has to be in series with the rest of the system. Once I figured that out, then it was pretty straightforward, and it was actually simpler than I thought it was initially. So, lots of cursing and swearing and wasted time, effort, and money, but I got it. It's on, it works, and again, like I said, I hope you find this useful. If you have any questions, comments, death threats, feel free to make them. Uh, if you need any help, doing one of these things, I'll do what I can to help you. Uh, the, the thing that helped me the most was getting set up to do hard pipe, and that was the key to getting this job done. I don't think I could have done this with hose um, because the, there was just not enough, yeah, not enough uh, room under this valve here to run hoses. It's just, it's too tight. Okay, everybody have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. 
and we'll talk to you again soon.